Um, we see the volcano in the Iceland erupting and we see the uh, lava fall or water watershed or whatever you call it forming and uh, leading in outside of the crater out of the walls of the volcano. Then the question is where the, all this lava goes, okay? The question is uh, has several parts. Part of it, of course, we see comes over the uh, walls of the crater spillage. You can see this color, the brownish red is a sign of oxidation also. Some part of it go into this kind of holes here. You see the, these holes here. These are real holes, they are caves. And uh, this is formed when the lava, which is in contact with the air, gets cold quicker than the lava which is inside the lava flow. So the outside gets cold, solidifies, the inside is yet molten and it stays fluid. So it moves and the movement of it creates a tunnel, kind of tunnel. We call it a tube or lava tube, we call them. These lava tubes are conduits, are pipes, are tubes that uh, guide the lava to wherever the deep of the ground is taking them. As you can see, the, we have now the eruption is starting, the seven to 12 minute cycle they have. That's the periodicity of these uh, eruptions. And uh, as they fall down from the rim of the crater, the edge of the crater, outside walls of it, um, they come and uh, sink into the different cavities that is formed by this process of solidification of the top part of the lava and the fluidity of the inside part of it, which creates these lava tubes. Let's watch this and see what will happen now. It may take a while that uh, the whole eruption comes and takes over. So as you can see, now we have two streams running uh, out of the crater. And they're carrying with them all kinds of gases, including the steam. People ask how a steam can exist. Yes, yeah, steam exists in minerals, biotite mica, which goes into subduction zones, accretion wedges, which is in the, the ocean floor, going back to the under subduction zone into the crater, into the subduction area, into the mantle, they create this kind of uh, uh, juicy, watery minerals. It's not fluid water, it's a water trapped in the crystalline structure. Because water, uh, molecules, if you know it, you, uh, you, have to, you have to know the chemistry. They are not, uh, negative, uh, they are not uh, neutral, they have a, a charge, electric charge, because oxygen is more electronegative than hydrogen toward the oxygen is more negative, toward the hydrogen is more positive. So they're kind of charged and they can attach themselves to all kinds of minerals who have a little bit charged like salt, like olivine, iron, um, you know, all kinds of minerals and metals and uh, elements. The same with the sulfur. Sulfur is like oxygen also has this kind of a structure. Uh, to a lesser degree, electronegativity of sulfur is slightly less than the uh, electronegativity of the oxygen. So. We, this is what we see here, all these kind of gases and steams you see coming out. That's the, one of the reasons the, uh, the lava actually boils, as we see bubbles up, because these gases are expanding. And that is the way the atmosphere and the earth has started. People who say that uh, the lava and water, yes, of course, this is the way our atmosphere, our oceans were created. They said comets had a role in it, but I believe that comets had a secondary role in that. Earth already has a watery mantle, is full of water in the crystalline structure of the minerals and rocks. Look, the, where the lava is going, is going to that cavity I showed you. That's the lava tube. That is the lava tube that I've mentioned. Other lava goes down there, you can see. There are more lava tubes here and there, you can see. This eruption is almost finished now. And the next eruption will be between 7 to 12 minutes. And as you can see, these caves, these lava tubes are so huge 
the, the practice the, the word swallowed all that lava coming out of it out of the crater i'll show you when what's the volume of this i'll put that clip again at the end of this video as you can see this is where the lava goes those holes you see there they are the beginning of the the openings of the lava tubes uh, surprisingly we have lava tubes also on the moon and on many other planets that have a, a volcanism we expect these things exist including mars we expect the mars and moon have this lava tubes, so we can put our equipment actually there uh, being away from the radiation and being away from the harsh environment of the space and uh, actually our future uh, colonies on the moon will be there i will put a picture of those kind of lava tubes when the top of the mask is broken on the moon you can see that but you can see all the lava is the draining like a massive sinkhole into that uh, lava tube and some of it which cannot uh, which the lava tube cannot take flow over and it gradually add to the surrounding environment uh, thickness of the wall and the uh, base and the foot of the volcano this is an example of a lava tube on the moon we call them real r-i-l-l-e and some of them actually are uh, the top of them has collapsed you can see in the next image this is that real uh, the top of it or lava tube has collapsed and you can see even the debris is under it under the hole in the hole look at it this is where we can actually place our stuff i know that in america they have placed a lot of nuclear weapons and such things they store them inside lava tubes you can place a whole city there uh, other countries probably have done the same and this is how it is you can see the lava tube in the lighter beige color and the opening a skylight entrance there on top and this is where the solidified lava uh, has formed a tube kind of structure in this image you can see is one of the real lava tubes on earth it probably is in hawaii or in somewhere in dakota america anyway uh, or in oregon and colombia um, these are this is another one of these lava tubes you can see on the roof of it actually the cracks desiccation cracks where the thing has really got uh, yeah the freezing of the, the lava and here you see that the flood of the lava coming toward the people who are standing there doesn't come toward them all sinks into the lava tubes that's the reason they can stand there otherwise this lava will flow toward them they are not more than probably less than a kilometer away from that and that yet you can see that it's all sinking into the ground uh, around one kilometer one yeah around that, about that time but uh, that dimension anyway you can see here that the lava tube oh god look at it it's like a you can call it waterfall or <laughs> lava fall or whatever you like this is this is so amazing look at it the size of this shed shedding lava shedding this is the size of the edge you can see is amazing never seen anything like that before I, I, I I've not seen you may have seen I've not seen This is where the lava ends up from the uh, lava tubes, the conductor toward the uh, water is lower ground. You gradually fill up the valleys and uh, really any cavity or anything there, make the landscape, you know, covered completely. Uh, lower valley was, pre, uh, was is now filling with the lava gradually.
go close to it with a hammer. Then, but the first person is a little afraid, then later you realize that it's 